Yo, yo. Yo. This works. Oh, you see. Oh, Johnny. Yo, yo, yo. Hey. You can come over here if you want. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Yo, you gotta get all Is that working? Yeah. Yeah, so we can do if anybody is having trouble seeing, like in the back or something, like if you might want to just come over to the front. Yeah, the, 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 the front area can be seating if you want, like yeah. you can do that. Yeah, and if anybody in the front wants to sit, that might help a little bit too. Just whatever to make it a little easier, you know. It's not like you have to see us. I guess as long as you can hear us. But yeah, there, there, there is a mirror. You can just, yeah, there's a mirror too. So, uh, <laughs> you're all in timeout. Everyone's got to sit. <laughs> hey, turn around, face the corner. That my calm. Hey, you can think of a better, a better. I don't play Mega Man Dolph. Yeah. I like that. That's a good punch for you. Sure. Looks like everyone's sitting here. All right. Okay. I don't know, should be able to hear it. This is way more comfortable. Yeah, this is better. Thank you for accommodating us. Oh yeah, I know it's tough to sit on the floor. I can't sit on the floor, so I thank you. Oh, did it? Cool, that's good. Yeah. So uh, I guess um, hello. Uh, I, I guess hi. I'm, I'm Justin. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> um, I guess I help you know produce and help edit some of the their stuff and some master for rental reviews and all that stuff. Kind of keep it going. Kieran, you wanna while you're not drinking introduce yourself. Um, I'm Kieran and I. Uh, oh. Why don't we just talk? I'm Kieran. Uh, I do animation and, and uh, visual effects. Oh. <laughs> that was a long time. That was before I met these guys. Uh, yeah. well, we were, you know, I might have met, I met you. We met, but like, I totally remember. Yeah, I don't know. A while ago. I did yeah. fatalities for the uh, Mortal Kombat mythologies. I did a couple of fatalities. Oh yeah, yeah. I did Sub Zero's fatality, the one where you got to do four, four down high kick, then four down, four, four high punch to break them. It's a two part, so it's kind of hard. I did that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so I guess we'll just do a general Q and A. Anyone have a Q for our A's? Yeah. Do you have any plans uh, of how you plan on killing off the nerd? Uh, not yet. No, I think the question is if the nerve's going to end uh, at any time soon. Not any time soon. Woo! So, I, I guess I do appreciate the fact that if the nerve was to end, he has to die. <laughs> <laughs> There's no retirement. It's like... Yeah. Make a fake out. Oh, yeah. He's got a dance who Uh, next question? Yeah, and then a half Uh you see in uh, your Big Briggs character has a fake tattoo, but do you have any real tattoos? Yeah, I do. Um, most of those were inked on with marker, but th there are some real ones too, yeah. Yes. I haven't have had too much clothing on today. Um, maybe in the summer. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, um, I, am, I was actually wondering, well, in, your, in your cheating on that episode, um, what were you actually saying? Uh, which episode was it? Cheetah Man. Cheetah Man. Cheetah. Uh, what was I actually saying? Yeah, like when you were like when you were still playing Action Fifty Two. When I was playing Action Fifty Two, what was I saying? Was there a part that was like censored? Yeah, yeah. You were like going like 
funky uh, the thing. It's so funny, we were talking about this earlier, is that um, like I've done so many episodes that it's so much information going, and years and years and years go by, and I like I legitimately can't remember until I'm reminded or something. So I actually don't remember uh, that. That's, I'm thinking about like like what you mean, but I, I guess I need to see. I think it's like, it's not like it sucks monkey balls. Just like all the fucking rest. It's like it sucks monkey fuck like all the fucking rest. That's what it is. I said that was like hard to understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what okay, I mean. cool. I guess that's yeah, it sucks. <laughs> like all the fucking rest. Yeah. Okay. Leave that was it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I have such a hard time remembering it. Hey, how'd you come up with the nerd? I come up with the nerd. I mean, it was just um. Okay. Cool. I used to master two hundred explains. <laughs> but it was uh, it was um, just a joke. Uh, it, it was sort of based on like a combination of memories, and whenever you create a character, you sort of combine things that you, you know. So a lot of it would be like a combination of remembering when I was a kid, getting pissed off at some of the games. Um, uh, just kind of like, you know, when you, yeah, you, you create a character, you just sort of combine from different memories from your past, or like, you know, maybe somebody you met, an angry boss, or whatever, you know, it just kind of like becomes a fusion of everything. Uh, actually, you mentioned at the Lloyd Kaufman panel at the, uh, the New Jersey Horror Con, mm -hmm. uh, they mentioned that you're in the have a cameo in Newcom 2. Yeah, that's Can right. Can you tell us a little bit about that? And uh, would you ever be interested in directing a trauma film? Yeah, uh, awesome. I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever have time because i got to do my own films. But uh, Lloyd has asked me if we have actually talked about that, uh, directing a trauma film. Um, I don't know. I wasn't. How can you come together? I know he has big things coming up with Toxie, though. Um, yeah, the cameo in, in Newcomb High 2. It's, whoa, there's my sound. I hear my sound. Uh, yeah, I have a cameo in Newcomb High 2. It's very uh, uh, quick, but it's there. Yeah, totally. Are you dress as the nerd? Or you... uh, yeah, it is a nerd cameo, yeah. It is, it is the angry nerd, yeah. <laughs> some, some of you guys have asked the question. Uh, uh, wait in the back here. Uh, you ever find it hard to get in the character? Oh, hard to get into the character? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, it's really just something that just, you just do it, you just go in the character, that's it. Yeah, there's not really much to it. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that could be hard is if they're, if I don't have a script or something, I mean, it's always prepared, so it's like I write it out first. Gotcha. Um, so, yeah. Hey, right here? Um, I have a question <laughs> I think I did one without dropping any f bombs. Uh, I did a couple, I think. I know one was the Moonwalker episode. There were no f bombs in that one. There were probably other bad words, but still. <laughs> I, think we, I think we talked about, or like I know we Karen yeah. talked about doing something where there's not, there's a reason for it, but yeah, I mean, I it, it sucks because we like kind of have to start it. it. Like I was like, what if you couldn't curse? Like something magically forced you not to be able to curse. <laughs> yeah. You're saying things like flipping fudge and. Uh huh. Yeah. I was like, uh, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe sometime, yeah. Um, do you plan on reviewing the upcoming Ghostbusters three? Is it three? I have no idea what it, it is. Yeah, it's called three. It's most not all the cast, but the I, one. I, I mean, I have no plans right now. I, I, I wanted a Ghostbusters 3 like 10, 15 years ago, so why the hell did that have to take so long? Like, <laughs> I find that even if it starts, I mean, first I need to see a trailer for one thing, and then it would have to look really awesome. And then if it, even if it did look awesome, I'd be like, well, I don't want to talk about it now because I feel like I'm being baited. So, like, there you like, go. Geez, yeah. I don't know what, you know, yeah. So I don't know. I really have no plans. I don't care about Ghostbusters anymore. I, just, I, I wanted that movie, that sequel, Dan Aykroyd's been talking about it year after year after year after year, and then it was just like, okay, it's either happening or it's not happening. Like, just, I just want to stop hearing about it. Yeah. Duke Newman forever. So, took forever. <laughs> Bad games like Sega Saturn? Most. Sega Saturn, bad. I feel like you're paying for 
<laughs> no, there's a lot of good ones, yes. Uh, Street Fighter, the movie on Saturn is really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really good. Huh. It's yeah. just Street Fighter, but with, like, digitized. It has John Club and M, but with the regular Street Fighter engine. I, mean, I, I, I did redo it in uh, my Street Fighter 2010 review yeah. somewhere, yeah. Super Comic Copy Bomber. Virtual High League. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, jeez. There's like oh, 15 yeah. good games from Saturday. Exactly one. I don't know, like 20 games of all the time. Uh, I know you have a rule that a game has to be at least 10 years old for you to review it, but have you ever discovered a game so bad that you consider breaking that rule? Oh yeah, definitely. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 the, the, the amount of years doesn't really matter anymore. It, it really doesn't. It's just most of the time you're, you're going to see games older. Yeah, there's some newer stuff coming just because it helps when people remember, you know, a little bit more so, but... Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to be some modern systems soon, maybe this year. Yeah. Not sure yet, but... Uh -huh. um, you said board games is done, which was a great ending. Do oh, you yeah. plan to make a new character and have like a holy trinity, where maybe everybody else shows up with each other? Oh, okay. <laughs> Another character would be on Nerd, board games, Bullshit Man. Almost like how a game, like maybe like toy games or something. Toy games, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Two things. Do you ever play Magic the Gathering? Second of all, what, Game of Thrones. Are you watching it? Uh, neither. I, I played. I, no, I, I, I had played Magic the Gathering like a long time ago. I can swear it was like a friend, you know, explaining it to me. And I don't think I got very far with it. It was like, okay, like. So no, I never, I never got into it. Um, never had time. And then uh, Game of Thrones. Again, I try. I, I've gotten through like half of the first season. Um, I just never had time to like go very far with it. That's about it. I know for me, I'm, I'm gonna wait till like the last few episodes are coming out and then just binge the whole series <laughs> and get to the end. That's why I do a Breaking Bad. How long would that take though? Like part of Game of Thrones. Uh, like like 48 hours or something of content. Like 48 hours. How long is it? Roughly yeah. How many episodes are there now? Yeah, sometimes I act like, it's like a movie or something, sometimes I act like, yeah, like if I'm just running out, I'm literally running out of time, I don't have time to finish it, I'll be like, okay, let me just skip a little bit. Or I'll watch it in like a fast speed where like people are talking fast where you can just enough understand them. It's like, okay. Go speed racer. Yeah. <laughs> um, you said in a couple of your videos that you really dig uh, kaiju, like Godzilla and Ultraman. Have you seen the um, uh, Kamen Rider Z game for Sega Saturn? Or, sorry, Sega Dreamcast? Uh, no, I, I haven't. It's especially shitty, and it runs with the. Uh, <laughs> 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 the same, like, giant yeah. monster theme. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, right? Oh. Um, so my my favorite non apgen related uh, film by you are short films are probably uh, uh, Jersey Odyssey and Legend of the Blue Hole. Oh, thank you. But I, yeah, yeah, it was a fantastic one. I noticed it only said episode one. Did you ever have any plans to revisit it or ever have any sort of reference to it in a future uh, video? Oh, I was going to do more, yeah. Um, then the nerd happened. So, yeah, that's, that's what happens. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. trying to get back to my roots with this next horror film, though. So I'm trying to, you know. Okay. And I guess technically we did do a follow-up to the Blue Hole because we went there with the VR camera. Yeah, like and, a documentary. And then, yeah. and then me and Tony swam in the Blue Hole. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Tony actually went in it. Yeah. yeah, but you were watching that in VR because I was like, I, I was watching it at the office and I'm like, oh wow, shirtless Tony is like right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it would rapid. Yeah. It was, uh, it was awesome. Yeah, I kind of wish the Jersey Devil dragged from the hell, you know, right in the blue hole. Tony's real hairy. <laughs> uh, following up on your movies outside of ABGN, and some, you started making home movies in 1989, so what would you say is the most influential fil film to you? What, get, what got you started in filmmaking? Not on my own, a movie I watched. Most like a movie I've seen. What, what wanted you, 
What was the one that made you want to do something like that? King Kong, 1933. That, oh, nice. that, that movie just broke so many ceilings in filmmaking. Mm -hmm. um, but even for me, seeing it in the like, 80s, it was a big deal. Um, like, I don't think I've seen like stop motion dinosaurs before that, that movie. And there's just something about the way it looked, like it was black and white and it just had this like high contrast. Just looking into the jungle scenery, like it's sort of just the background is foggy, so all the trees sort of disappear into the back and um, there's always stuff going on. There's like a little, you know, like you'll see like a little tiny pterodactyl flying. It's just a beautiful film to look at. And um, um, that movie inspired me to make movies. I started doing stuff with like action figures and puppets and using fishing line to, you know, move them around and stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, that made me want to do like adventure films. Oh yeah. Uh, being a family man, do you ever find it hard to diff uh, or difficult to balance your personal life with uh, everything else that you've got going on as far as YouTube and stuff? Yes, yeah. definitely. It's, uh, it, time is very, very, very limited right now. So yeah, I understand. <laughs> I think these guys are helping me a lot. You know, keep the nerve going and keep uh, you know the web series and everything. Yeah. That's awesome. How different would the nerve have been? How long would it have been? Uh, how much different would it have been? Yeah. Is it like censorship? Is it like yes, I like, person? A lot of people was more for the family friendly stuff these days. Okay. <coughs> I don't know. I mean, it, I guess it hasn't really affected the nerve thing as much. Not as much, probably because of Google preferred ads and it being one of like the first channels and all these other things and. Just with us, with the network and all this other kind of stuff, we've been very fortunate not to get hit by that. When it is demonetized, it's usually because someone put gore in the thumbnail. Tell me. Oh, which one? The goriest. The goriest or goriest. He puts lots in the joystick one, too. Yeah, you're right. Well, we took that out. So, honestly, the whole adpocalypse thing really wasn't. That has big a deal as a lot of YouTubers made it out to be, but they were doing it for the views and they were, doing, they were hyping it up. It's it's like, yeah. like you know, it's something to make a video about that they were able to like go like, hey everybody like yell at YouTube and all that's like what happened. We we saw it coming, um, pretty far away, and like like we were at the there was the, like a YouTube type party at Pax East where like a developer like leaked it out to like Keemstar or something like well, like, like one of those guys or whatever. And that's when it became like a big deal, but we knew about it for like, like a year or so before. So we we're trying to clean things up here and there, mostly in thumbnails and titles. And yeah, I have to, you know, it's bullshit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why it's called like, yeah, you know, YK, 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 Start seeing some of those soon. That was hell of shit. Yep. What was the shit made out of in the Bugs Bunny episode? <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter and chocolate syrup. I, I, Chunky I, peanut butter. You didn't just shit all over Bugs Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
maybe you already answered this somewhere else, but um, how did that whole collab with uh, I forgot with my tripod. Sorry, it's bouncing around. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin, um, <laughs> he watched my videos for a long time, actually. <laughs> so uh, I have a lot of mutual connections. A lot of times people would um, either be like at a party with them or they work with them, and they're, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we were talking about you, and like, he's a big fan, he watches your movies. I'm like, yeah, really? Like, that's cool. Um, and then, uh, I don't know why, it took a while to come together, but finally, like, one time, we just were like, okay, you know, he's he's doing YouTube videos now, he's got the Funny Ears website and a podcast and everything, he's like, you know, would you want to do, like, a Home Alone episode with him or something? I'm like, yeah, so like, let's do that. So, that's how it came together. Now, um, let's see, what we did we get? I'm going to go all the way back here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just wondering, uh, I see you guys got some rolling rock up there. Um, <laughs> after this, uh, do you guys need a designated driver? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're all good. Yeah. Just ask, are you a cop? <laughs> 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 um, I have two questions. Um, I was wondering, um, I guess it's a two part, yeah. Um, have you watched the uh, Evil Dead TV series? And yes. Uh, what was your thoughts on it? Oh, the Evil Dead TV series was great. Yeah, um, I, I, I had no idea that was going to happen. I was just so shocked because we've been waiting for that uh, that third, no, fourth. We've been waiting for Evil Dead 4 for so many years, and it was just like, okay, like it's one of those things that every now and then they talk about it a little bit, but it, it never happened. So I kind of just gave up on that long ago. And then they did the reboot, and it was like, okay, well, if they're rebooting Evil Dead, now they're not going to go back and like do the old you know, lineage or the old timeline or whatever, and then all of a sudden it's like, yep, Bruce Campbell's back doing a whole TV series. I'm like, what the hell? And it, it had all the gore in it, the humor, like it had everything you wanted. It felt like the old uh, the old stuff. So yeah, I, I was really uh, yeah, thankful that I did that. And then I, I was wondering, um, are you aware of the Dead Alive remake? That's, or not remake, but the recolorization they're going to do after they made a uh, shout out for old. Recolorization? Yeah, they're going to touch it up for Blu-ray I was hearing about. Uh, that's always good when they tell us they need a film that they find the right for it. I haven't seen a lot of issues with them lately, because a lot of the Blu-rays that came out were just upscales from DVD, and those are mess. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but now recently, especially with like Shout Factory, they've been re-releasing stuff like yeah. Rad BMX or Street Fighter. <laughs> Shout movie. Factory's great, yeah. So we've been getting some of those. So yeah, we've heard about yeah. that one. That one seems pretty cool. They're kind of like the criterion of... Uh, like cult films. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, if you see the cartridge come out, it's usually like fishing line, which is strange. Yeah. <laughs> which somehow we disguised really well, except when we did the Dirty Harry one. It might have been the first one where it was in HD, maybe, where I did strings. I don't yeah. know. Somehow, like, you really see those strings. But before, we never saw them much. So. It, it was probably just... Yeah, they yeah, right. Also, like, I don't know, sometimes when you see the strings, like, I like that. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a weird thing. Yeah. Let's hey. follow up with what I said. Um, you even said the same here, said it your 200 video. Uh, you said that... Uh, if you just see the practical effects, uh, effects of like a cheap film, it just adds to the charm. You just, yeah, I like to think it's just someone who simply wanted to try so hard to make someone laugh. Yeah, it lets yeah. you in on the process. You can see how it was made. It's kind of like, you know. A little of a real uh, question. Uh, following up with what uh, whoever else asked. All what other materials did you make shit out of? Because I noticed here as far as Jaguar, it looks like a bunch of cr crushed, grinded up Oh, it depends how solid you want to just add <laughs> Yeah, you add more peanut butter if you want it more solid. I, I, I think it, it's time for a recipe book. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, I think, I don't know, like, there's an episode coming up soon that had to have it. Yeah. Uh, and he, he made it in, like, four seconds. He's like, yeah. oh, we don't have any? It was telling. It was amazing to watch. It was like watching like the Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, and I curse a lot too, so it makes sense. Yeah, I never thought about that.
Yeah. You know, kitchen nightmares where you just yeah. tell them how to make fake shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that shit's kitchen. <laughs> I like bathroom nightmares. <laughs> Tickle my funny bone. <laughs> I think it's like the confirmation when you say it to somebody and they, they laugh, you're like, you realize what you said. Um, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, no, yeah, well, that's a tricky bar, like, pointing is like, yeah, you never know. Like, uh, yeah, what's your favorite game on the uh, NES? Oh, on the NES. Oh, well, that, that helps narrow it down. I mean, usually, it was my favorite game, I would say Link to the Past. So, if it's NES, I think a, a Super C. Contra. Super C? Yeah, I think so. Underrated too. Mm. Yeah, Super C's good. <laughs> you say to write what you know. A few times the dirt has said who's going to give up and come back. Does that ever happen to you where you feel like, you know, maybe it's not equipped but then a game so shitty just throws you down? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of ways to answer it. Like with, uh, a lot of times I'll play enough really bad games, I think, well, there's probably not going to be any that are that bad anymore. I think I've probably seen the worst of it, but then there's always something even worse that always comes along. I'm like, oh, wow, okay, now it's time to get really back into it. Because I'll still keep making episodes, but a lot of times it, it tends to be like, well, this game's really bad, but it's not like it's the worst I ever played, because I played way worse. Or this one's more like a history lesson, or it's about a console or something. Um, but it always comes back to find like some terrible game that you're just like, oh my god, how did this get made? And as far as like actually like putting the production of the episodes, it's come to points where it was like just really, really hard to keep keep uh, continuing with just lack of time. Um, but you know, we, we always find a way to keep them going. So yeah, the, the eight, I think I said someone in line earlier. The the eighties and nineties are the gift that keeps on giving because you always find something else you've never heard about, or a system, or something that was rare, or even when we do rental reviews, there's so many movies that I James has unfortunately not watched that you get to subjugate them to. So like yeah. like there's just so many games that you can just keep on doing. Yeah, who's one? There's one recently that was really bad. Movie or game? A uh, game. I forget, but yeah, there's been some lately. I was like, what, holy shit, like, how is this? Can we call it 76? Was that actually like, really bad because I didn't play it? it was, and I'm a big Fallout fan. I thought it was going to get better and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. The stuff yeah. I saw of people playing it looked hilarious and it made me want to play it more. Like, uh, it just. Yeah, that's what like you looked so great about it was just how bad it was. I was kind of like, this looks like hilarious. This looks like. Did you hear about the event they had in uh, West Virginia for the game though? Before it came out in the town where Mothman's apparently from, where the game takes place in, they had a whole thing where they brought everyone in and there was like power armor, like you're actually there, like in the mining town. And it was like the coolest thing ever. I was like, oh, this game's gonna, whoops, you know. But like that was the picture from it. It was really cool. Elder Scrolls Six logo was announced, by the way. I'm <laughs> excited about a logo. And no, that's what I, like when they were like, we're doing Elder Scrolls Six. I was like, wow, they announced the logo. <laughs> it's a V and an I this time. Does that happen back in the day? It's like, oh guys, here's E3. It's the new Mario Brothers Three logo. Ooh, like that didn't happen. They just show it to you. There's a, uh, a 1992 movie uh, made by metal band Guar called Fallis in Wonderland. Yeah. I'm wondering if you've seen that or if you've read a review of Metal Band No, I haven't. Is there any, like, you know, like, when I watched the Red Hot Review, for the longest time I thought sometimes when you move the video to do them. Very fun, but off camera. Mm -hmm. so that would be like the hint of the next film. Oh, okay. And I'd be like, 
For the yeah. longest time, I'm like, all right, Gremlins is coming. Gremlins is coming. Oh, okay. Because it was, one, it was moved from the back wall. Oh, yeah. The front. I'm like, James is just trolling me now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just like declarations. Like, a lot of times it has to do with the movie we're talking about. Like, there might be like a connection to the movie, like an actor who's in that movie who's in the ones that are sitting on the shelf or something like that. Yes. I think it's like the Critters Review. And then, uh, then Gremlins is put in the corner. Yeah, I don't know why we're doing this. Or maybe it was uh, Jingle All the Way. Yeah, yeah. That's what we have. Yeah, yeah. We've done a lot of, like, there's a lot of movies that we get that we're like, oh, we got to do that, but we have such a huge list now. Yeah, like, it's really enormous because it's like, one thing, it's like, like, I mean, I, I've reviewed a ton of movies before, but I, I think it doesn't matter to redo them because it's a different environment. You're talking with different people. It's like a different like chemistry and everything. So it doesn't matter to do movies that I've already done. Uh, and in that case, like that, I'm starting to realize that like, like man, like you know what? There's so many um, that could be done. And um, like there's really no way to narrow it down whatsoever. Because then you could do like funny movies, you could do like action movies, you could do like, you know, like just obscure, bizarre stuff or like different, you know, like different takes on something really famous. Well, that's the thing too, is because then we also do ones like our favorite this or underrated that or whatever. Like, yeah. there's literally no end to it, and there's generally no thought into what goes where until yeah, they show up. And generally, it's it's comedy movie, five comedy movies. Uh, but if you want to think there's a great conspiracy, I, I, I was curious to confirm if my theories or not. So like, if we that have shows up, it was like, like uh, Gremlins has been talked about so many times. Gremlins two, awesome. and I've never, I've never seen either. Oh, no? Yeah, so we should probably do You know what I feel like? I should have a reason to watch these yeah. movies. Yeah. Right? So cool. I should say, you guys, uh, yeah. 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 It was one of the first like hard PG movies, this thing, because it, you know, it's one of those movies that like, made the PG-13 rating come into effect. It was like Bad and Temple of Doom, so Spielberg, we have to thank for the PG-13 rating. Well, Spielberg was able to get away with these PG movies that were like really messed up, and um, they had to invent like a new rating. Uh, I mean, those are like close to an R. I mean, I mean Gremlins especially was like really, uh, you know, it could be really graphic. The gremlins exploding and getting decapitated and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hearts getting ripped out and doom and yeah. bugs. And I guess the brains. Yeah. Oh, the Temple of Doom should have been an R. That's like a yeah. horror film. But they gremlins. I guess they bleed green. So it, when they bleed green, the, the MPAA, as Tarantino puts it, the MPAA just doesn't like the color red. That's really all they know. So they, like the vampires and dust still gone and made them bleed green just so they can get past like NC-17 or whatever they were trying to give it. It's like House of the Dead. Mm. Give it a green blood. Yeah. <laughs> you can put it in our arcade anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, first of all, yeah, this is kind of like a two part, but so how do you guys feel about the rebooting Child's Play, but also more specifically, how do you feel about them rebooting it while the original creator and writer and everybody are still making their own timeline movies. There's two timelines. Yeah, there's two timelines of Child's Play going on right now. Yeah, I gotta catch up with that because I don't know what is going on. I, I got I didn't I didn't know it was possible to get behind in Child's Play. Because <laughs> I thought I, I'd seen them all, but then all of a sudden these past few years they've just been cranking them out. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. Like, now there's like all these Child's Play movies all of a sudden. I, I like one, two and three. And uh, I like the, the promo that Chucky cut against Scott Steiner, or, or Rick Steiner at WCW. Um, and, you know, before Halloween Havoc, like, 98 or whatever it was. That was interesting. Uh, but I haven't seen a movie since then. Uh, to be honest, I like the first three. I'm excited about the reboot. I think it might be cool. Mark Hamill. Yep. Mark Hamill. He's just Chucky. All right, then I'm down. That sounds good. No, yeah, I can. They're still doing it. I got turned down. I got seen Mark Hamill. I think that's going to be decent. And Aubrey Plaza is in it. Yep. It looks cool. And and horror nowadays, 
it's hit or miss, but we'll see what's up. I, I don't know. I'll see it. I'll, I'll, I'll probably enjoy it. I don't really hate movies. Yeah. As Joe Fighter is my favorite movie. Yeah. As Joe Bob Briggs put it, the worst thing a movie could do is be boring. And yeah. It's not boring. I like Brian Shucky because it is not boring. It's yeah. funny. Like I, I love uh, you know cracking up at it. So. Yeah, but I, I guess if you're gonna reboot something, that's a goal to do rather than like Toy Man or Demonic Toys or Toy Man versus the Demonic Toys, okay. you know, something like that. So I think it's gonna be cool. I hope so. Yeah, or reboot something that's like really bad to begin with. Like, yeah. it's like it was, when I was in the Plan 9 remake, like it's, it's kind of an interesting um, way to go about it. It's like, it's kind of a different situation, I guess, in Plan 9. The original was like regarded as being really bad, but it's, it's not boring at all. Like, it's one of the greatest, you know, cult films ever. But um, the uh, the remake, the whole, uh, like, mission behind it was like, well, let's take something that, you know, didn't do so well, or, or, and then make the movie that Ed Woods was trying to make, but now give it a little more of a budget and kind of like try to make it better. But interesting mentality to go about it, you know. I take, um, oh, what was one of the worst ones we've done? I don't even know. No. Like bad movies we did? Yeah, I can't remember. I know you talked about Dr. Sardonics and that, like, where it, so it had two different endings. Oh, what? The William Castle movies, uh, those would be great to reboot, actually. And if you have to have some kind of gag in the theater, that would make it great. Um, yeah, uh, Mr. Sardonicus was, uh, it was like a multiple ending, but it, but it wasn't a multiple ending. It was, it was just... Yeah, they, they tricked it by like, the whole yeah, beaches yeah. and the girls thing. Yeah, he comes on screen and, you know, oh, raise your hand or whatever, hold up your card, you know. Yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You can just use your thumb, but you said you hold up a card that has a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and like you turn it upside down if you want him to die, or thumbs up if you want him to live. And then he's kind of like counting the audience, and it's like he's not really doing it. They didn't film two endings. He just did that, and no matter what happens, like, like so you asked for it. Here's what happens. <laughs> and especially in the digital age, it'd be so much easier to do that in a theater. Yeah, 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 people thought there was like some lost ending, like the, there's like an alternate ending out there somewhere, and there isn't. It's just, it was just a gag. Like he totally, he totally was playing a joke, and he just he got, he got everybody. Yeah, I mean, like there's also stuff like the movie Clue, where they have like a bunch of different endings, even though it's all one thing. Mm -hmm. Or you know, Netflix has been experimenting with the, you know, choose your own adventure thing. So. Oh, I just saw that Bandersnatch yeah. Black Mirror episode. That was really neat. So it'd be interesting, and I know we talked about doing a two joint adventure. Thing yeah, we did it with uh, War Games. Oh, once there was a multiple ending, like um, is War Games a killer or is he not? Like, there was a, a lie detector episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has Cinemasker ever received weird mail, strange mail? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be a good video though, is about to read some more. I did that before, about a long time ago though. I've been collecting a lot of these in my six, so I might do this in my video. I'm trying to think of anything. Off the top of my head, I can't think of an example. Um, yeah. I just got a really funny one the other day. I cannot remember. Do you guys get like sex offers or threats or anything? Sometimes at the same time. You keep looking right there. That is actually pretty funny. Uh, I have basically two questions. Me? Yeah, basically two questions. One, was you the one who originated this expression, what a shitload of fuck? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now a lot of people heard before that, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because a lot of people seem to use it now in OVD. Oh, cool, nice. Now, the second question is, of all the uh, Halloween specials, which was your favorite one to shoot? Oh, yeah, I guess it's got to be Polybius. Polybius was my favorite, the Halloween one, I think, yeah. Yeah. Polybius actually scared me. Yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. 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 Even though that took place in... I think that was filmed in August and it was hot as shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. It's oh, yeah. It's yeah. I was actually sick during a lot of it. I remember now. Yeah, it was yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, yeah. 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 I still, yeah. I still crawl through the mail. Oh, that's right. I got stuck in one of the rooms because somebody else came in. And I, but I can't, I can't get past oh, it. <laughs> that place is pretty fun. There's that one room where it's like you crawl into it, and there's just a TV playing scary white noise. Yeah, and it's like a tunnel you crawl through, and it's just inside the wall. And, and there's just a TV playing white noise. That's it. And then on the other side, there's a pizza party. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice. Yeah. And those little, uh, he has like fireworks to spin. Oh, okay. like, yeah. 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 Uh, it's funny, for a minute I thought he was a ventriloquist, because I, I, I heard the voice and I was like, wait, his mouth, I don't think his mouth is moving. Like, I know the lights are hitting me in the eyes, but I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, other LGN games, um, rephrase it. Have you ever gotten hate mail from any of the Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, um, oh, uh, what made you do a second review with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Oh, yeah, I mean, so the first one. Check on I video was, was nothing. It was just uh, like me on screen talking. And that, was kind of, that was the joke at the time. It was more about the character, not about the game. But the second time was, uh, I really should delve into this game and really talk about it more. I guess, uh, are, are there any episodes that you would want to see revisited? I guess you could shout a few out. Is there any specifically? Nothing? Oh, What's that? Another bad egg video? Are there more bad Mega Man games? No, look, kind of like how there's like, you know, like a Bill and Ted Resident or uh, you know something like that. I think it would be something old, uh, like um, maybe Fester's Quest. Or something. Yeah, 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 like something. Because back then I wasn't very complete about it. It, it, it didn't. The Sega CD 32X. <laughs> yeah, more Sega CD 32X. Like, Stuff that I did in 2006, 2007, like something in there would be worth revisiting. But at a certain point, the videos became more complete, where, okay, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do everything I want to say about it, and then move on. So I would beat the games more often. Uh, I take a lot more time on it, on the newer ones I did, you know, on the old ones. So if I'm going to revisit anything, it would be from the early episodes. And most of the major ones I've already revisited. Yeah. Yeah. The sad thing is, I don't think I really had much to say. <laughs> but yeah, corpse killer. It's, it's something I wanted to say more about, but there really just wasn't a lot. It's just the point in shoe came. You just you just shoot some funny stuff, and it's like the acting was kind of like yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it would be. Good to look at again, but I don't think there's much there, unfortunately. Uh, who can we get? Has anyone not asked the question yet? Now, that's a pretty straight hand back there, yeah. Um, yeah, I know a lot of the episodes you uh, end up like breaking the game with the cartridges or destroying it. Mm -hmm. um, did you use like a duplicate or a repro? And uh, how'd you do the, the NWC gold part? Because that still makes me cringe when I see you getting back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anytime something's destroyed, it's always um, something inexpensive. Um, well, that doesn't work. So it's always, uh, it's never the, very rarely is it, is it the same game. Like I remember um, even, uh, what's the one that I destroyed with the drill? It was like Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy, yeah. It actually wasn't even Dick Tracy. It was Deadly Towers because it was like, I had more copies of that one. There's a Super Nintendo that breaks in one episode, and that was like, a uh, Super Nintendo that was already like crumbling. Oh, that's the uh, Super Mario 3 where you pick it up and just tear it apart. Yeah. <laughs> so it was um, it was it was already crumbling like it, like it was exposed to sun. It had that like yellow color to it. Um, so it was already falling apart in my hands. So it was like okay, I'm just gonna destroy it on video. Uh, things like that. So it's, it's always a, like a, a copy or always um, we'll print a fake label on it or something. Like Nintendo World Championships, that was, uh, you know, we printed the label over a, like a Zelda card and a Top Gun card. The gray one was Top Gun. Even when I smashed the Zelda one, 
you can see the battery come out of it, the little save battery. So, you know, that, that wouldn't be in the, the real Nintendo World Championship. But I remember when we did that, we had the, the real games were in the same room. Um, and Pat and I were both there, and we kept double checking over. Like, okay, these are the these are the, the the fake ones, right? And these are the real ones. Okay, because the fake ones look better than the real ones because the, the real ones were so old that the labels were fading and everything. But the new ones, the, the fake ones that we printed out, they looked cleaner. They looked better. So it was funny. Oh, you can see, actually, if you look really close, when it's smashing, you can see Top Gun underneath the label. <laughs> and we d also, though, we did blow up the CD32. That, yeah, but that thing didn't work anyway. Yeah, but like but a, that was a real CD32 yeah. that we flamed through. I actually thought about, two. like, you know, I thought about, if we ever did another Amiga CD32 thing, bring that back and try and put the disc inside yeah, it's of it. <laughs> in yeah, it's probably in a friend's backyard. Yeah, it's in the back door. Door. We, uh, we, we blew it up yeah. in a friend's house. That I was like, hey, man, can we... uh like flamethrower stuff in your backyard and he was like I don't know man I don't think it's gonna be a thing I was like well because like James is gonna come over and you know we're gonna do it for the nerd and he was like oh what okay yeah come on come on <laughs> so we we, we shot it with yeah. James filled it with gunpowder yeah. and fireworks oh, it, was yeah. it exploded and I, I was like filming it with one camera like on oh, handheld and all this smoke I breathed it in like all this like Whatever, you know, the CD32 is made of, the combustion, oh. I breathed it in. And, and the guy's yeah, friends like a beekeeper, so really, yeah. he's everywhere. We had to walk around in a certain way because he has beehives everywhere. So he's like, don't go this way because there's bees. And, uh, and don't go this way because there's like feral cats that go one way. So you had to be like real weird about it, but it was pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What What game did you Oh, uh, somebody brought me a Clay Fighter 2 Judgment Clay and uh, Arcana, Arcana. Yeah, and oh, and, and a nerd. There you go. Ooh, <laughs> 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 uh, hey, uh, this will be my last question. I don't know if you're talking too much. So I know you have. So I know you have a rule about uh, the game has to be uh, older than 10 years. Right. Not necessarily, but mostly. I mean, I have two games on my uh, One of them is Super Paper Mario. Uh, that is, you know, that's like the uh, the, the the diversive one on uh, Paper Mario yeah. franchise. It's like it's not it's not color splash and sticker star, which were terrible, but it's not the, the RPGs before. I have personally have a huge history with uh, Super Paper Mario in my childhood. And another game, uh, Demon Souls. That came out came out in 2009, and I'm a big Souls fan. Oh, cool! Awesome. Do you think you'd uh, ever do anything with those two games uh, later yeah, on? Uh, I, 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 I know, I know the, most, of, like, yeah. the Paper Mario games would have to be done like Earthbound, like a, a heavy retrospective, and the Demon Souls and stuff. Considering the same, like we do something like like Lair or, or stuff in the PS3 that's just really really awful. Like, uh, Maybe. Well, I, I also know the trend back in the day where you were also doing hard games, uh, hence uh, the the Gigantic episode. Oh, yeah. Demon Souls. So this is Dark Souls we talked about. This is the game that came before Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. Difficult is the name of the game here. Yeah. Difficult always helps, yeah. Yeah, but I think there's a difference between, like, it, it's hard, but it's a good game, and it's hard because it's a bad game, not because it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's something to look into. Mm -hmm. Doctor Two is the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the back. Hey. I thought about doing an addendum to like how to make a nerd video with like technological updates. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do a second one. Yeah. Uh, like another making of episode. Nerd. Maybe. Yeah. I thought I have to. I look at the first one again. See, like, okay, is there anything left to say or anything more? Anything that could be updated or changed? So yeah. <coughs> Mike talked to me about an idea that would take six months to do, because uh, he wants to up the ante more than the last one. And there's something yeah. about, and I'm like, I, 
maybe? <laughs> That's the problem is like every time I'm doing something after, it's like, well, it's got to be better now. It's like with board James, it was like, okay, well, if, if I'm going to do another one, it's got to be better. And it's like, well, that one already like took so long. It's like now I'm like, I'm, I'm completely out of time. So if I, if I do that, that means I'm not going to be able to do like 10 other things. So it's like, it's a huge sacrifice. So if it's, if it's not as good, then it's like, well, you know, there isn't really much of a point. Yeah. Uh, hey, Maria. Are you going to review that game you take again? Oh, Sega Saturn. Uh, I, think we were, I think we were asked that, but uh, I mean, I don't know a lot about Sega Saturn. I mean, there was the Crow, right? You did the Crow. Yeah. Was that Sega Saturn? I think it was, yeah. 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 And then there was Super High Line. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Kieran, is there anything for the Saturn you want to do that's all like for crappy? I was saying, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we talk about Dreamcast a little, but like, I don't know, Dreamcast is pretty good. Most yeah, we, there, there is some Dreamcast stuff that we were talking about, but more weird import stuff, not so much the original. Yeah. The trend, the most popular systems <laughs> Well, because the more popular systems, uh, mainly like the Wii and the DS, or yeah, the PlayStation, like that gets so much shovelware. Yeah. Or, like the NES just got so many games that weren't legitimate, so that kind of happens. But a system that's hard to code for, no one really wants to play, like a Saturn or a Dreamcast, is going to have less games in general. So what's the Sega Gaga one? Dreamcast. 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 Okay. Yeah. Are you worried about um, games moving away from a physical format and being restricted to streaming services? Um, I mean, I mean, I'm not really worried. It just seems like that's the way everything's going. So I don't know. It's more convenient. Um, like I'm fine with that. Like, blowing the cartridges and everything. I'm done with that. So <laughs> I'm fine with that. Like I'll, I'll do that with the old ones. Like, I want to go back. Like the nostalgia factor. But I don't know. I, I still the entire rooms in my house with physical media. So I'm not really looking to collect anymore. <laughs> You know, I, I, I only have so much room, so uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of that, just moving the streaming. Dude, you work for Google Stadia, is this what this is? <laughs> <laughs> One of those? I don't see who hasn't done anything before. Yeah, that guy. Yes. I asked you earlier about Kitchen Alien, mm -hmm. and you gave me a few. Yeah. You got all those games in your basement. Yeah. How often do you just pick random games out just to see if they're good or not? Um. Every, every now, quite often, actually. Um, How many do you play? All of them? Oh no, I don't think so. Um, it's, it's never play. Plus, I don't, I don't keep track good enough. Um, a lot of times it's just if I'm auditioning games or just curious about something. Because funny enough, I, I put in Kid Chameleon not too long ago, um, just to see what it was again. It's been a long time since I played it. Uh, only had like maybe 15 minutes to play it just to see how it is again. And I remember playing it now. It was like there were some annoying things, like where the, the camera moves when you jump, and I just hate that. It's just it, it's just very uh, like I don't know, just nauseating. Um, but uh, most of it was pretty good. Um, and like I can change them to different characters. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of cool. I'd have to play more of those. Well, yeah, in general, do you work to your collection games just to try it out? Um, I, yeah, I mean, I, I do. Um, just, I'll edit it now. It's usually like to see what uh, you know, the next episode or whatever. Or just, uh, I, don't, I don't get the time to really like play a lot, you know, for like not any like, leisure time or anything like that. I borrow a lot of games on this. You mean like three hours? Oh yeah. Yeah, and I think we'll be like we'll be like building something or doing something, and Kira will be like, oh, I need to borrow that. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Can I? Mike has something. That'll be free on PlayStation. Yeah. Mike has something. Sometimes, yeah. Street Fighter movie and Contra Hardcore. Yeah. I, I borrow on games. Because uh, I love those games. And I take very good care of them. Just gonna tell There's Dave. Uh, yeah, go ahead. What is, what do you think is the worst game of all time, and what system? 
Oh, Jekyll and Hyde, and yes. <laughs> the frustration, there's nothing more frustrating than that. <laughs> Oh, which one? I thought you said a board game was worse than a frustrating. I can't just pull it. Movies. Uh, a board, <laughs> the um, worst thing a movie could do is be boring. Like a game, it's like, um, I mean, yeah, like boring is bad too, but like if, if, if it's frustrating, if you're like pulling your hair out of your head, it's like it's, it's no fun. Like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to just scale that one, the Darkwing Duck episode? What game? The Darkwing Duck episode. Did you have a shit scale? Yeah, do you remember what, what was on it? Uh, I don't remember what for the first two, but uh, you had uh, the fifth and sixth tier. Fifth was Jekyll and Hyde, and sixth was the like Desert Bus, uh, Big Briggs, the games of those. There was a level below Jekyll and Hyde that was games that aren't games. That is, there's no way to win or lose. Like, it just doesn't even have, those would kind of be like, Borderline like boring and hilarious. Like big rigs, like you play it and you're just laughing. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it, it's it's technically worse because it doesn't even function. But it's not worse as in like it's not frustrating. You're just you're just laughing at it because it's so broken. Yeah. So it's a different thing. It's like it's that's it. Yeah. So when you first started for the Nintendo Nerd. What made you transition to the video game nerd? Was it, did you think you were going to run out of material on Nintendo or? Yeah, just like I just did enough Nintendo games. It was like, okay, well, I want to try some Super Nintendo games. I want to try some like Sega games. It, it was sort of like I thought at one point I was going to be, I was going to make up separate characters. So it would be the angry Sega nerd, the angry PlayStation nerd, and then um, it was like, you know what? Just call it the video game nerd. And just, you know. I, I like the uh, Tiger Electronic. Wristwatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Electronic Wristwatch came there. Plus, <laughs> plus, if you're like the anti Nintendo and you know like Reggie's gonna come in with your kneecap, so it's yeah. probably better off to yeah. having Nintendo in your name. I don't think we'd be able to sell shirts with Nintendo on it, so yeah. it's like, it was also just like a smart decision. So that was, was actually, uh, I was playing, you had that box of like Tiger Electronic games that I was like mm -hmm. going through. I was like popping batteries into the Street oh, Fighter. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. Oh, the Street Fighter on the yeah, set the voices and everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I think there's time for a couple more questions. Oh. I think you heard this before. Let's see what you got to say now. Oh, yeah. Um, first of all, Kieran, damn you for making me remember Chucky and Rick Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's something that when I was a kid, I knew was stupid. And uh, it upset me and made me shiver with cringe when I was a kid, because uh, I it, WCW has this like um, thing of, of doing really awful crossovers like RoboCop, which I don't know if anybody's ever seen where RoboCop rescues Sting from a prison, and then uh, as he rescues Sting from the prison, his his whole leg flap pops off, so he's desperately trying to pop his leg flap on while on camera and walking and trying to be Robocop, and apparently that was Peter Weller. Trying to eat fried chicken, yeah, too. He apparently showed up and saved the state. But so, uh, seriousness, um, do you occasionally just get movies or games that you know are bad, but you just can't get them into a format to make a DVD, and video, or rental review, I Oh, yeah, a lot of times, yeah, there's a technical problem. I can't get the game running or something. So that happens a lot, yeah. Or, like, for rental reviews, like, I think we have a list of, like, 200 <coughs> something movies right now. Yeah. And kind of pick through, like, okay, who wants to do this one? Will this one work for the group? There's been a few that are just on the cutting room floor because, like, the conversation wasn't so hot or it was shot. Yeah. yeah, or, like, yeah. it didn't go long enough, yeah. but. Especially with James now, like, even with the Harvey episode, like you kind of figure out what's good and what's not to do, um, just from the pre-production. But sometimes, yeah. I will say uh, one more thing, real quick, just about uh, just staying the Terminator, okay. staying in, uh, <laughs> Robocop thing. Um, recently, well, not recently, but like a few years ago, there was a there was a WrestleMania match. It was Sting versus Triple H. And Triple H came out as the Terminator. So I was like, is this them like making some better reference of uh, Robocop versus the Terminator? Making it a wrestling match? Is Stinky, or, uh, Triple H came out wearing dead Terminator. It was awful. <laughs> it was real stupid. Yeah, it was like real awful, but. So I guess we got one more question. It's got to be real important and good. Uh, James, you want to pick them out? Uh, 
Well, okay, first of all, who didn't get a question at all? All right, let's see. All right, right here. What's your favorite horror franchise? Oh, favorite horror franchise? I, I guess it's the Universal Monsters. Um, you know, that is the whole uh, franchise. Yeah, those are, those are the ones I grew up with. Yeah, those are, are going to be tough to beat. <coughs> Well, you guys. I'm more into like one-offs. I think my favorites are like like Poltergeist and The Thing and Exorcist and all you know, um, Alien. Like like not many big franchises because I think they usually mess it up after two or three. So that's kind of. Oh, the, the Romero Dead series. That's that's yeah, that one's too, that yeah. one like. <coughs> um, I like Saw. Oh, I'm a yeah, really yeah, big yeah. fan of Saw. I love those damn movies. Yeah. I really don't care. Uh, they're great crafted stories and. Mm -hmm. Uh, the characters were all good, and, and you kind of hated them, but you wanted them to survive. But you also didn't mind seeing them getting ripped apart. Right? Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll see that newest one. James oh, it wasn't that. bad. It was actually yeah. pretty decent. Oh, cool. I'll take one more from that guy right there. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're very excited about your hand going. <laughs> I just want to get you. I don't want to be frustrated. <laughs> uh, have you seen the latest Alien and Predator movies? And what do you think of Disney doing Alien and Predator now? <laughs> The latest alien? Oh, because, no, because, because alien they bought Fox. Predator, like a, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Prometheus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Prometheus. Yeah, which is where we're talking. If Prometheus was actually yeah, like the concept of it, it had nothing to do with Alien, because it was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, Covenant's trash. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> the Predator is okay, but he won't beat the originals. And I don't know what Disney's going to do with it now, but... The alien queen is a Disney princess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and what's it called, too? I don't know if you guys watch It's Always Sunny, but someone said that uh, uh, Nightman would be a, di a Disney villain now. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that, too. <laughs> yeah, no strong feelings for the last one. I mean, of all of them, like for me, is the best, but, uh, you know, Covenant and Predator. I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. I was like there to show. No, actually, I wasn't there. I I didn't see it. Yeah. I didn't really give a shit. I don't. Yeah. Um, the thing with me is, I don't really with these movies, I don't think they should keep making movies. I think they should make new movies, and they should just re-release the old movies in theaters. Like I would go see Predator One. I would go see Alien. the original so, Alien so, played last night in Phoenixville. Yeah, yeah. 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 See the, I, I, I see didn't that. see it, but I, I knew like we had a you know an early morning to get over here. But yeah. it was like, a great movie. But uh, with Disney, that's the problem. Is because I want to do a review eventually on live action Disney remakes. Probably for when Lion King comes out because I don't care about Aladdin. Uh, well, there's a bunch movie. of those coming up. Uh, well, the thing is, there's been a ton of them since even the 90s. But also, like Marvel. Uh, but Marvel's great. All the Marvel movies, I think, are solid. Uh, yeah. Some films mm -hmm. to look at. And they're fun. And they, that's the stuff, like, you know, I grew up with was X Men and all that kind of stuff. And then yeah. seeing them on the big screen is amazing. And I'm cool with that being our Star Wars at this time. Star Wars, I think, needs to stop. I am getting so upset with Star Wars because every time I go see it, I'm just like, I really love Star Wars. I loved it since I was a kid. I, I, in the 90s when they re-released it, even the special editions, I loved them. That was the beginning of the end. Well, the, the thing is, like, then the prequels came out, and I was like, okay, you know, okay. Three was good. Like, yeah, is it nothing wrong? Yeah. I just think that like they need to cast, like yeah. look, make a whole new episode of Star Wars. Stop bringing like Han Solo, bring him in, kill him. What? Like why? Why do that? And it, why make it Spoiler. origin story? <laughs> so, right, yeah, so, right, yeah. uh, but the origin story of Han Solo was lame because it's like he meets Luke Skywalker like twenty something years later and tells him like, yeah, I made the Kessel Run and uh, Millennium Falcon. It's like, okay, well, all that happened in one week, and then Han Solo had a real long off time. <laughs> Never did anything again. That movie's so dark. Like, I mean, physically yeah. dark. I can't Not see. like dark. Yeah, it's so yeah, dark, yeah. But it's so hard to see. It, it really is. is. Like, I, I actually tried to watch it a second time. It was on Netflix or something. I but thought it was the theater. Recently. Yeah, but oh, dark. you can't, you cannot watch on a TV screen in the middle of the day. Yeah. Oh gosh, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't see where all the curtains. <laughs> and like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm not just saying like, oh, it was that? It was really dark. I couldn't see. You really couldn't see. Like, it was so dark. And yeah. you're like, Chewy, you're like, Arr! I'm like, what? What the whole is this? <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Yeah. 
The, he fell down there. There's, there's probably Wookie poop everywhere. <laughs> He's living in his own filth. And they're yeah, fighting yeah, especially that part when they needed the filth or anything. Yeah. I'm just like, what is going on in this scene? Like, I just hear like groans so, and like. In that, in that span of time, he meets Chewbacca. He gets the Millennium Falcon. He does the Kessler. He meets Lando. Every important thing Hansel has ever done happened within yeah. a week and a half. And not just that, the Millennium Falcon now has that robot personality. Oh, yeah. Personality. And, and also, it's. And Lando like, loves it. Why did it also need to have that whole scene where they're like, well, here's the thing. We're going to have the Millennium Falcon. It's going to have the front piece. But then it's going to lose the front piece. And it's going to be the Millennium Falcon. Oh. You know, so just do that. Just make it the ship that it looks yeah. like. like you I know, it. I, I, it is it losing me. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it, but, the, but these ones are losing me, all these new ones. The one way to really get me back is if you bring back the freaking Emperor. If you bring yeah. him back one more time, that would that would bring me back. And in Revenge of the Sith, when he's talking about that that Darth before him who taught him like the you know the Sith Palagius. Darth Plagius. I I would love to see a movie about Darth Plagius and um see him uh, uh take over and call the movie uh, the Darth Lineage. It would just be about yeah. all the Darths before see, that'd be cool. yeah. like if he did yeah. something like I'm like talking about the yeah. to see yeah. that movie. Or something like that. I didn't, so, I didn't even know it was the same actor until I was watching Revenge of the Sith. I didn't know in all the prequels that it was the same guy. I didn't know until that one scene where, you know, that, um, what was, was his famous line? He's like, like, no, no, that part, you know? It was like, as soon as that happened and like the makeup change went on and everything, I was like, wait a minute. This guy's doing a really good impression of it. I'm like, holy crap, that's the same guy. And then I was just, so sucked in. He's the butler of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, too. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels? Yeah, he's the butler in that movie. I just oh, watched really? it the other night. But I guess it freaked me out when I saw it. Um, Disney's goal is to own all IP in the world. Yeah. And to take stuff that makes money. Because Disney's live action Beauty and the Beast doubled the profits from the actual cartoon when it came to theaters. So they're going to keep doing it forever. And they're going to keep adding all that theme parts, and you're going to go. And you're going to have a good time. And you're going to drink around the world. And yeah, I would joke about it. Disney World, if you've never been, I just recently went not too long ago for the first time in my life. It's it's damn magic. You just spent 10 minutes talking crap on Disney. Yeah. No, it's amazing. Disney, I understand. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I understand shit. why it's amazing, and it, and it is great, and it's fun. Uh, it's just they need to stop with some things. They need to stop. Well, now, now they can bring back dead actors from the grave. Yeah. And it's like, holy crap, and now we're going to start seeing like, um, anything, yeah. It's anything, like, have, like anything. they can so, do anything now. Now it's like, oh, oh my gosh. Like, it's this like, is like the scary. Tupac, uh, hologram. It, yeah. yeah. It's like, so, it's so scary. Like, I was, like when, when they showed the young Princess Leia, like, I thought that yeah. looked really good. Like, I, 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 I actually was like, oh my gosh, that really, that looks real. What's it called? Captain Marvel? Uh, Samuel Jackson yeah. is like de aged in it. And it's okay. like you don't even notice it. You're watching the whole movie and it's like it might as well have been shot 20 years ago. Wow. It looks really decent. Huh. Peter Cushing, though, on the other hand, the same movie. They, they should have just had the reflection yeah. and called it. And that would have been good. But then when he's on screen, he was, he was in the movie more than Darth Vader was in the movie. Darth Vader, all you need is the helmet and the voice. You're good. Yeah. But they had Peter Cushing, you know, as a governor Tar Tarkin. And the longer he was there, the more I started to notice his mouth was cut. Was uh, I know they brought made. back um, James Earl Jones for Lion King. Yeah. Um, and I know that while they're in the studio, they're recording as many Darth Vader lines as possible because they know they're going to lose him soon. Uh, so they're just, they're going to be like set to like, all right, Mr. Jones, please say the alphabet 50 times in a row at different like, yeah. And they'll figure it out. Because um, um, Jack, Jack Nicholson did that a while ago. He went to like a studio and they did this whole thing where he'd be like, ah, 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 and then they scan his face and they could put him in digital movies in like 20 years. I know you were with Jack Nicholson. Yes. Is that what you just said? Yeah. I turned away, it wasn't me. It's for the best. Well, I guess we're 10 minutes over. Do you have anything else to say, James? Love you, uh, hey, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. I'll love yeah. you. Yeah, no, that's it. No, thanks for coming. Yeah, this is awesome. Thanks a lot. Yeah.